Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and it's another small Team U haul video guys. Yeah, only three items but I think you're going to agree in the end that these are pretty smart in their own way. Yeah, they're brick games again guys. These are the ones I've been waiting for before I do the big brick game video where I show all the ones that I own. But yeah. Three nice little units again. Well, one's actually quite a whopping big unit. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, a little bit different to the others, that's for sure. Um, but well, shall we start, guys, at the beginning and begin with the little one, the wee one. Now, if you've been watching the fantastic channel, Dell's Handheld Games, then you may have seen this one already. Um, yeah, Dell has shown this one. He picked it up in his Team U haul video. So yeah, it's a very interesting little thing, this. As you can see, guys, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And it has an elephant on the side. Hmm. Now, Dell didn't take his out of the packet, but we will. We're going to take it out of the packet. We're going to pull what is probably a tab on the back somewhere to let the batteries come to Oh, yes, there we go. Look, come to life. And then we'll have a little uh, tinkle on it, a little play on it, guys. Um, yeah, but guys, go over to Dell's channel. It is fantastic. Anything and everything to do with handhelds and just a little bit of Red Dwarf and other bits and bobs thrown in as well. Fantastic channel and you couldn't find a nicer guy right let's open this one up anyway here we go so yeah they're all from timu and i tell you what i've been having some pretty damn cool stuff from there look i'm gonna have to split this bag guys i don't really like breaking the packaging but i can't actually see how you get in this thing but you can see it is just a plastic bag with a bit of gubbins written on it he says showing you there warning avoid blah 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 and all that Suffocation and try and get your bloody head in that, you'd have to be minute, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. But right, is this how we get in? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to be rough here, guys. I should have got my trusty dusty knife out, I think, for this one. Oh, dear. Right, okay. It's just, just to go around. <laughs> ah, well, as you might have guessed, guys, I had to resort to. Da, 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 yeah, bit of knife action. But we're in. And there's a screen protector which is bubbling up. But yeah, we'll leave that on for now. But yes, here we go, guys, with the first one. It is a mini arcade. In fact, it is a key ring arcade, as you can tell by the uh, yeah, pretty cheap and nasty uh, key ring on the top. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty damn smart, to be honest. I mean, look here, look. You've got a little stick there. You've got your button, which feels quite spongy. And yeah, lots of other little buttons, which I have absolutely no freaking idea what to do. Let's have a look. So we see it in the light. Let's have a look. Uh, mute. SP. On off. Reset. Rotate. Yeah. And all that gubbins. But yeah. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's got the same kind of screen again, very minute. It's probably going to be quite difficult to uh, to use. Yeah, I'm very fine. Cool, I'm glad to hear it, elephant. And on the back we have, we get him out of the way, one speaker. Here we have what is to release the old batteries, the tag there. And the battery compartment with a bloody screw in it. But hopefully we're having uh, the little cell batteries. We won't have to worry about that too often. And it's just again, I'm very fine. Very childish, baby blue colour unit. And up here, guys, on the hood, it just says mini game player. Well, I guess the best thing to do now, guys, would be to pull that bloody tag, wouldn't it? There we go. 
and straight in with that same music guys that you get on all of these but that is tiny isn't it eh? well we've got to have a little quick uh, yeah go on it I suppose what you do just go like this with this one yeah you do you just go like that guys look let's find one of the good games I suppose oh right okay so we're just going through different versions of that are we do we have to press this one to move on then oh yes we do look yeah there's all sorts of different things there again guys cool very very cool yeah it's all the same type of stuff again racing cars and all that if i go too close look it vanishes oh might get focused in again you bugger right we'll do that one guys because that's one of my faves i love that game uh how do we start yeah it was sp wasn't it where's sp gone uh there it is if i can get my nail in there to press it hey there we go oh look here we go guys see if we can see anything of this at all let's tilt it right the way and the way oh that was quite dramatic whoa that's a bit different to what i'm used to wow um yeah that's a thing ah but i think you can see what i mean about what this is um yeah, this wasn't quite the game I thought it was, to be honest. That is quite um, something. Yeah, absolutely quite something. Oh, and then I crashed again. You can only just about hear that. But yeah, oh, oh, oh look, the sticker's not even straight. Look at that. Oh, could have put a bit more effort in there, couldn't I? But when you think this thing cost, I do believe, about £1.70, That'll be why then. Hmm. But you know what? I don't think there's much point in us looking at this any further because it's just too damn small and it keeps vanishing. But look, we're getting rid of some that. Well, hey, that is quite cool. And I do like the stick. It does actually do quite a good job. Oh, and then I died again. Right, I think it's time to move on to the next one, isn't it? Hmm. Well, guys, up next we have one that I can't tell you for the life of me what it's actually uh, called as such apart from it's a brick game um if you watch my previous previous videos i should say on a team U hall um yeah we've had one of these before guys by the same company that han shenning um yeah this is certainly a lot bigger than the last one isn't it but everything like i said is in chinese so the only thing that isn't is on the actual player itself where it says game mini but yeah, I mean, the last unit I looked at by this company was actually pretty fantastic. It was one of the best ones I've come across, to be honest. Wonderful. Nice big screen and everything. You can see here, guys, yeah, it's just got a lot of gubbins there. And I can't read it, obviously. Now, this box was quite knackered looking, but when it came, it was actually worse than this. I've managed to straighten it out a little bit, but oh dear. On the back, I'll get this out of the way, guys, because it's just a load of gubbins. There we go. In Chinese and there of course a little bit of English telling you bits and bobs and what have it is it even in English oh yes it is in English yeah not that it makes any sense probably because it'd be pidgin English but yeah that's that on the top here guys we'll turn it round there we go just a load of Chinese gubbins again and a very ooh, ah, broken box still nice to have the box though you know what I mean and here guys oh wrong way around again there we go just lots of different colors but you can't see what the rest of them are because there's a great dirty sticker over it made in china no crap black yes it certainly is yeah and whatever that says hmm although you know apart from the condition of the box it's actually quite a nice box i don't mind that at all it's pretty wicked there we have what's that God knows. Obviously about battery life and all that. But yes, guys. Hmm. We need to unbox it, don't we? Although that's going to be difficult with it having been uh, in such bad condition already. Here we go then. So easy to get into it. No sealed upness or anything. No cellar tape or anything to deal with. Uh, there's the unit anyway. And it's got a bloody screw. I can see that already. Let's put him aside a minute. Have a look in here. No, nothing else in there, guys. That's it. Not even any instructions. I presume that's what all this is. But it's in Chinese. So, yeah. 
put M aside. And here's the unit itself, or the back of it anyway. And like I said, I can already see a bloody screw. Mm. But yeah, there it is from the front. Looks quite an interesting uh, shape and everything. That's not bad. Let's pull it out of this uh, wrapper here. And that's right end of yeah, that's the right end. There we go, guys. Get rid of that. So yeah, very, very light, guys. This actually feels like um, <laughs> something that isn't real. You know, that it hasn't got anything in it at all. It just feels like a toy in that sense. And of course, it is a toy in a way. But yeah, I mean, the buttons, yeah, they're... Mm, not the greatest, that's for bloody sure. They're actually quite awful feeling, but let's see what happens when we actually play on it. It's like a different base to the other one by the same company that I've already looked at. This all moves in one, and you can see it's one piece. I don't know how that's going to work out. On, off, reset. SP again, which is start. The game, uh, sound, again. It's all the same gubbins, false, fake. Shoulder buttons. But yeah, that design on the front there is interesting, to say the least. Got absolutely nothing to do with this game. Because it certainly doesn't have a camera. It certainly cannot play movies. Uh, yeah, the controller part is about right. Um, yeah, all the rest of it, guys, is a load of old crap. Mm. But yeah, what we need to do is stick some batteries in it. And I do believe it's two AAA. So we're going to cut... To where I've got them in already, because you don't want to watch me take that effing screw out, do you? No, you don't. Right, here we go, guys. The batteries are in, and it has got a bit more weight to it now. But heads up, I lied to you. It is not two triple A's, it's two double A's. So that's probably why it's got a bit more weight to it. Um, yeah. Yeah, the form factor is pretty damn cool. I like the form factor. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. Reminds me a bit of the one from Morrison's, if you've seen that video. Uh, £4 from Morrison's. It's very, very similar. Only this one cost, I do believe, £4.90, something like that. It was actually a little bit more. But it's a lovely, lovely form factor. But let's see what it's actually like, shall we? Let's turn it on. I'm sure it's going to have the same music and all that. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it has. Same thing again, yeah. Right, let's see what we've got on here. Uh, see if we can move through it. Can we move through it? Let's see. Kind of. We're going to get something else. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, the racing game's there again, guys. And that one there, yeah. I do like that game, guys. So I think we're going to play that one. It's one of my favourites, so... We might as well wait. Where's the start? There we go. Here we go, guys. So, yeah. Basically, it's a kind of uh, breakout clone. Oh, died already. Oh, dear. Here we go again. I'm finding it quite difficult to see again, guys. That's why. But as you can see, it's pretty much what it's meant to do. It's a kind of a breakout game. With a bit of a difference to it, of course your standard breakout has pre-built kind of shapes at the top there that you're demolishing which gives it a little bit more oomph if you like but yeah pretty damn cool actually not bad at all nice big screen compared to the uh, mini arcade eh? so yeah you're going to get a bit of joy out of this i'm sure especially with the tetris games and stuff that are on here but yeah absolutely Fabulous. Cool. Yeah, absolutely cool. What a fantastic little thing. But let's turn that one up as well. Because I don't want to show you too much because we are going to have that big brick game video coming. Um, but yeah, what a nice form factor. I do like that. Very, very cheap feeling, though I have to say that. The buttons are not too hot, but they do their job uh, for this kind of basic uh, video game handheld video game system uh, yeah not bad at all but I think it's time 
Well, what is really the star of the show, guys, from this Team U haul? Right, and here it is, guys. Here is the star of the show. Now, this one was five ninety nine. Now, that's because it's a better made one. Um, has got a few cardboard things missing, which was very, very odd. And then I saw that it's a blister pack. I thought, how the hell does anything get lost out of there? Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a couple of cardboard bits missing. Um, the others are there, like here, with the big label going across it, the uh, mega brick. Yeah, real big display, and that certainly is. That is a very nice looking uh, display and a very nice looking unit, to say the least. But what's really interesting, guys, is they give you a screwdriver. Look, it's stuck to the max. So the tape's in there, but it's very, very rusty. Ugh, yuck. But yeah, still cool that they include it. And then on the back, it tells you how to install the batteries and all that gobbins. Warning and all that. I'm having to show you like this, guys, because obviously it's quite a big package. But... I realised how things could get lost out of here because it may look like a blister pack but it's actually not. Watch this. It just pops off. It clips in. Just like that. And there we are. That is that grape tray. Oh, get a lot of grapes in that, couldn't you? Hmm. And then you're left with this lot here. Cardboard bits and the unit itself, of course. So, yeah, not much else to uh, <laughs> to see here, is there? No, the other cardboard bit went over there. So, yeah, that's it on the packaging, guys. Really not much else to say. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this little sucker off here. If I can, he says. Hey, there we go. It's all. No instructions again, guys. There seems to be a lack of instructions in these things lately. But yeah, we have got the uh, hmm. lovely looking, look at that, all that rust on there, hmm. not very nice, looks like you could catch something off it, but it's nice that they included it. But yeah, here's the unit. Now, it does feel a little bit weightier than the others, quite a nice weight actually. And once it's got those batteries in, it'll have a bit more of a weight, of course. These buttons feel quite nice. All around, it feels like a nice quality product. So what have we got here, then? Right, OK, I don't know what that is. Oh, turn. That's a turn. There we have reset. SP again. It's all the same type of thing. On, off. Sound. And then your pad, which feels not too bad. It's that nice big screen, though. That's what is interesting. Here it just says classic, mega brick, and it is a nice looking thing. I was actually trying to get the red one originally, but it was out of stock. On the back, we have the mono speaker again. The battery compartment, which, yes... Does it appear, it says? Yeah, it does have a screw in it. Mm. Of course, that's why they give you the bloody screwdriver, you fool. Ugh. No hope for me, guys. No hope. But yeah, what a nice looking thing. I think we should slam some batteries in it and see what it's like. Right, here we go, guys. With this one, I've got the batteries in it. And we're ready to rumble. But I thought I'd show you this first again, because it is quite shocking. That screwdriver. Uh, look at that. Now you can see it properly. Uh, tetanus on a stick. Yuck, he says. Right, but it's done its job. That's good. Right, shall we turn this thing on then? Here we go. Right, so we're straight in. And uh, yeah, looks quite interesting. Let's skip through. Obviously, black of blacks. Nice big screen. This is going to be... Pretty damn cool, I think. Oh, look at that one. I've not seen that before. Wow. That one. Yeah, that is one of my favourites again. Obviously, you're shooting them again. 
There's the one that's like Frogger where you're trying to cross the road. Oh, we're back around to there, are we? Oh, okay. Right, so there must be different versions of this then, is there? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, it's all the different settings, guys. But yeah, let's just have a quick go at maybe, hmm. Something that's more like Tetris. Let's have a look. What we got here? There we go, that's a Tetris one. We'll play this one, guys, here we go. We'll quickly have a go on this. Uh, yeah, oh, you turn it like that, of course. There we go. Ah, uh, bugger, didn't quite get where I wanted to be. But never mind. Yeah, cool. That isn't too bad, you know, not at all. These buttons are lovely. Uh, not that I'm playing very well, but you can see what it is, and you can see how much uh, better you can see that screen because it's nice and big. So yeah, that is not bad, guys. Not bad at all. It's a game of Tetris, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to play this very bad. I'm trying to do it over the viewfinder, but yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Not bad at all. But I've just noticed, guys, I don't think they go right to the edge there. No, they don't. Look, that, the last line there and the last line here. Yeah, they don't actually go any further. But yeah, that is pretty damn cool. Not bad at all. I quite like that. Right, let's get him over there. Right. So yeah, there we go, guys. Another one. But of course, I'm going to show more of it in that big video that's coming. But that is a fantastic, uh, I wouldn't say little unit, because it's actually quite big, isn't it? But yeah, wow, I'm actually quite impressed with that one. And the screen is lovely. And yeah, just even the sound is louder and all that gubbins. But yeah, fantastic. Right, back with my final thoughts. Well, there you go again, guys. Uh, another Team U haul. And I don't think it was too bad at all. I mean, this one is fantastic. I like that. Much, much better quality than the usual type of brick game. The plastics are fantastic. The uh, buttons feel pretty damn good. Uh, the louder speaker, brighter inks. Then moving over to this one. Again, I can't uh, get over the fact that it's the same company. I mean, it's still a bloody good little machine. Nice big screen again, not as big as that one, but you know, nice and big. Uh, black, not as black as that one, but yeah, not not cool, not bad at all. It, you know, you can really, really cope with it. Very nice form factor, it has to be said. Although a lot of people do say that in portrait, obviously, it's easier for Tetris games and things like that. But yeah, this is absolutely fine. You know, um, shame the box was so crushed. Uh, but yeah, the, the one I've done previously from this company was, uh, yeah, that was the best one of the two, shall we say. And then this little baby here is just a novelty, isn't it? You can't really seriously play on it. You can give it a go. But it's the novelty of having a little arcade. Um, yeah, that, that is pretty smart. I do like it. And for £1.70, whatever the hell it was, um, that is a pretty cool little thing. Maybe more for the collector of these types of things. But yeah, I think it's pretty damn good for its price. So yeah, nice little thing. Uh, <laughs> with the baby blue and uh, yeah, very childish characters on the side with the elephant there. But yeah, fantastic little haul again, guys. I'm very, very pleased. My favourite of the three is, of course, this one. Absolutely. Then this one for playability. And then this one is obviously, like I said, a novelty. And just nice to have it in the collection. But yeah, look out for that big video coming soon, guys. Where I'm going to be showing a lot more of these systems in one video. Everything that I have up to date will be in that video. So there's quite a bloody few, that's for sure. So yeah, there you go, guys. What did you think? Would you be picking any of these up from Timu? I tell you what, you could do a lot bloody worse, couldn't you? These are fun for what they are. As long as you don't expect too much, because you don't get that much, do you? It's the same thing over and over again. It's the Tetris clones, the breakout, the, uh, yeah, like the, the, the Frogger guys, where you're trying to get across the road. They're all very, very fun, but they're not serious play. They're a quick pick up and play, aren't they? That's for sure. 
But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this team you hold. Did I do all right? What do you think? Well, there we are. And I'm going to wrap things up and say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon on the all icon to give me any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, if you love all this retro goodness, because that's what they are, they're a proper old retro throwback, these things. Then I've got the perfect group for you over on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation and Consoles Fan Group. We are now at about three and a half thousand members, so that's incredible. Plenty of people for you to have a banter with. We could never believe that main nature when we set this up. We really couldn't. What an amazing, amazing thing it is. And I tell you what, guys, we also got the world's greatest admin team behind us as well. And tons of content from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation, performance and tech help videos and all that gubbins. So if that floats your boat, head below this link there, guys. And we'd love to see you. Then guys, I also have my UK Crop Gaming Facebook group where we cover everything from the Donner Gaming with Pong Machines right the way through to PS5s and everything that came in between. And again, guys, loads of members there to banter with fantastic bunch of people over there and again a stellar admin team so if you love video games from all the different periods guys it is the place for you other youtubers put their videos up there every single day as well as myself so that's fantastic as well for content so yeah if that floats your boat as well head below we'd love to see you there as well then finally guys i have my uk crowd membership you could become a member of the uk crowd family or as little as 99 pence a month. This will give you access to the members only videos. It will also get you a badge next to your name in the comments that changes color every month and lets everybody know that you're a member of the UK crap family. Now there is other tiers with other perks attached. So again, head below guys, go over there, take a look and see what you think. And with that, I'm gonna love you and leave you and see you later then. Cheers and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one guys, bye bye.